All right, on the bench today here at the DS Radio Shop, guys. Uh, it's a marine radio. Typically, we don't work on marine radios because uh, there's not a lot of business uh, in that category. Uh, at least not where I live, anyway. So uh, we're far enough away from the lake that we don't have to worry about uh, that. So uh, this is a brand new radio. It's an ICOM M304. Okay, nice radio. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so the guy says, the customer of this said uh, it would not power on. They installed it and it would not power on. Now, could this have been a factory problem? Somebody didn't realize what they did uh, when connecting or disconnecting it during testing, possibly. Uh, could it be the operator error? Maybe something happened when they were trying to connect hot and ground. Maybe they reversed it by accident or two of these may have touched an art. Uh, that could very well be too. I, I don't know. I mean, there's so many different variables. But what I do know, the reason why it does not power on, I told the guy, if you want to send it here, I could, I could fix that for you. Uh, so I don't, like I said, generally get into marine radios. But when he described what was going on, I, I told him to send it here and we can help him out. So, right there, guys. That's the strongest point. So it, it damaged the trace. It blew the trace. Okay? So this right here tells me that somebody did something... And uh, that's why it did what it did, uh, because this trace goes right back to this capacitor as well. And I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, so here's your hot and ground, okay? And that current was so, so, uh, so strong that it, it burnt the trace out. Uh, so that tells me, again, either a surge, an arc, or connected backwards would cause that. Um, so I'm a little disappointed and I see this a lot in CB radios. I can't even tell you how many times I see this. Oh my God, just about every damn radio they've got for your exports. Um, they put a high, high value diode on the back of the, of the power jack. And it's just stupid when you, <laughs> you don't need a 10 or 20 amp diode on the back of the radio guys. You really don't. Um, the diode is supposed to prevent further damage when something does short or fail because you're crossing it backwards or whatever the case would be is. So this diode should have failed. That diode is actually, um, from what I tested, that diode is actually good. It's not burnt, not fried, not nothing. A nice little gray, yellow colored diode. So that actually tested good. So which tells me the, the rating of this is too big. This diode failed to do its job by stopping here. It did not. So it caused the current to go stronger because it just could not pop this. So the next thing in the line was the cap and the trace. And that's where it stopped. So look at this cap right here. See how kind of like flat surface it is? You can clearly see the bevelness of this. That cap's no good. Uh, so this has to come out and um, replace him. Fix the trace on the other side, double sided board. All these screws got to come out. Disconnect the backing here. Take the heat shield off. Disconnect the antenna. Pop the board up just to get to this one little part. It's a lot of messing around to get to one part. <laughs> so, but you know, it's the nature of the beast. You know, when you get into SMT component, you know, service mount technology right here. So, when you get into all the SMT stuff, this is what you got to expect. Um, nobody says it's going to be easy, but it's all far, it's all part of uh, the hobby. So, uh, being that I've got a vast, diverse background of electronics, you know, I, I can, I can, uh, clearly tell you I've, I've seen a lot in the last 37 years. <laughs> so I've seen things that people just won't even touch. And when you tell them what you found, they're like, oh, I, I could have done that. It's like, well, sometimes you got to. Take the uh, the fear panties off and put the big boy pants on and just dive right in, you know. Just take your time, learn. That's how you do things. Never seclude yourself to one thing, you know. Expand your, your horizon. So I've worked on several boards with SMT. I've been doing that since the 90s uh, on computer boards and stuff. So this is nothing new to me. 
Um, I just don't work on marine radios because we don't have a uh, big supply demand in my area for that. Primarily just CB radios, ham radios. But anyway, so yeah, this cap's got to get replaced. All of this got to take apart to get to one cap. And then while we have that off, we're going to fix the trace because on the other side here, I mean, I can get down here and do that too, but I'd rather have the board completely out to fix it right. And uh, we'll get that all taken care of. So I'll clean it all up and I'll fix him the professional way. So when I get done, I will do a video and show you with this thing turned on, powered up, ready to go. Um, but that's the reason why it was sitting here because it would not turn on and the guy didn't know what was going on with it. So there you have it. All right, guys, DX Radio Shop, Upstate New York, 315-573-9205. Get this thing fixed, do an updated video, and move on to the next one. And don't forget to check me out on uh, Facebook and my YouTube channels as well. Take care, guys.